Laura is a spectacular young woman who had a, a devastating diagnosis uh, at a time when everything should have been happy and, and then uh, everything was pulled out from underneath her. We were actually coming back from our honeymoon and I stood up on the airplane and I immediately felt that something was not right. The diagnosis of the cervical cancer was made uh, very quickly. You know, the worst news that somebody could ever deliver to a newlywed couple, you know, and it's that not only did I have cancer, it was the fact that the cancer, I wasn't going to be able to conceive a baby naturally. What I'd always wanted to, to do was to be a mom. I met Laura when she first came to our center for her first treatment. What a young, pretty girl. What is she doing here? I would be incredibly, incredibly exhausted from the radiation. I mean, I was wiped out. To improve her quality of life uh, and reduce side effects, I was able to limit the dose to critical structures with this new type of treatment. When you have cancer, cancer sometimes tends to take away our inner being, our spirit. Positive attitude sometimes is about 99% of the journey. Laura had that outlook. She's bound and determined. She was going to beat that. It was that faith and that trust in the doctors and my care team. The Cone Health Care philosophy, you know, whatever it takes for the patient, whatever the patient needs, it's all about the patient. Um, you know, to be able to have Dr. Clark Pearson, who is the best of the best and, you know, a true expert in my type of cancer was so incredibly reassuring. We needed to really expedite the care that she, that she needed, the surgery, and followed by the radiation therapy. But throughout it all, she was just kept up such a positive attitude that uh, um, you know we just couldn't couldn't do anything uh, wrong. Almost the future for me, um, I do see us being parents. Keeping options open for ha having a family uh, was something that I wanted to broach with her and. Uh, and, and realize that there is the technology to be able to do this. This cancer had just crushed any hope I had had of conceiving a child naturally, but thanks to modern medicine, there were alternatives. I'm ready for the next step.